Hello everybody, it's Donnie from Diamond Painting by Donnie and I have a package to open. I am not sure who it's from but it is taped to the hilt. It was actually in a bag so that's probably why they could get away with this but it was in this bag here and it says it's, it came from Singapore. So let's see what it is. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Digging into it. I guess they wanted to make sure nothing came out. Poke one more hole and then should be able to open this box. There we go. I think. Oh, geez. Well, I'm not reusing this box, that's for sure. Alright. Came a little bit damaged, a little bit squished. Alright. Still don't know what it is because it's rolled backwards. Never seen it rolled that way before. Uh, oh. It's a rhinestone painting. Okay. It's come with a nine drill placer, small chunk of wax, a small tray, and regular drill pin. Look at the canvas, see who it's from. Well, you guys will know because it'll be in the title, but this is me discovering who it's from. And I'll have to look it up in the book afterwards because I don't know. Oh, these are the swans. I'm sure you've seen this before. Oh, it did come inside a uh, with a foam roller. More swords for Tesla to play with. All right, so this is a partial, but it is completely rhinestone, or um, what would they consider uh, crystals? Yeah. Let's check the sticky while we're at it. This is nice and shiny. They have the symbols. Um, I don't know. Okay, so those are ends, maybe. I don't know, it's a Z. Oh, this is not really cool. Okay, it's sticky. But here, I'm gonna show you the key real quick. I thought I'd try and maybe flatten it a little bit, but this is one that the portfolio is gonna have to flatten for me because there's no way that this is staying flat because the edges don't have adhesive to make it flat. But there, that kind of flattened a little bit. Let me try this edge here. Let me do this half so I can maybe at least show you some stuff. This is where a third hand would come in handy. There we go. Yeah, my both of them, all my kids are here today, and my older two are fighting. Yay. Okay, so here's the key. For one thing, I don't think that's very clear. <sighs> okay, it's trying to focus. There we go kind of shining off of it but those symbols are hard to read on the but look at here down here when we get to number what was the number seven and eight okay look at that they've got a six and then they've got a sideways six and then number nine is like really hard to see it's like a fingernail number ten is like some kind of a 
I call that the Star Trek symbol. There we go in there. And then we've got the red background is the only way that I could really tell the difference on something. Let me move my arm so it'll... God, this angle is not good. I don't like how I have it set up. 12 is going to be easy because it's white. But... Yeah, still breaking up fights between my kids. Alright, so this is a 67 by 40. And the symbols I'm not happy with because at first I thought that... Here. I thought that maybe you're supposed to do it portrait because of the sideways sixes or they would be nines at this in this direction but here look it's hard because it's a partial and all the symbols are in the middle and it's hard to get it up to the camera let me kind of do this there we go so you've got the sixes and the nines like inter twined with each other so I mean they're really clear on the canvas but like there's a three it looks like a three or an S oh here we go I think daddy didn't want to watch him in the pool anymore I'll be back okay sorry about that so yeah some of these symbols um they are hard to read. I mean, I can't tell if those are S's or fives or sixes. I think those are the sixes. Yeah, that's what they are. Now that I'm looking at the key, I don't, yeah, it looks like a six, but on here it looks like an S. But anyway. All right, yeah, I live in a house of chaos. I'm trying to keep it out of my videos, but it sometimes does interrupt it. Um, okay, so like I said, this was a 67 by 40. The symbols are not... Mm. Oh man, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. They're not the greatest. Let me look it up in my book while I hold my breath to get rid of these. Okay, the company is called, um, it was on AliExpress, and the company is called Have Star and Canvas. It says it's a six, yeah, 67 by 40, and it costs $11.85. I ordered it on July 12th, and they shipped it on July 12th, and it arrived today on July 23rd. So, 11 days, that's really good shipping time. I'm just not, um, I mean, it's okay. But the packaging was um, really well. It's just the symbols are kind of hard to read. Um, I knew it was going to be a partial, and they are, oh, let's look at the diamonds. <laughs> Sorry about the crinkle, guys. Okay, so they're just numbered 1 through 12. They smell bad. Okay, so here's number 2. Uh, nice red color. Number 12 is a silver color. Okay, 1 is just a regular black, because black, I've never seen that in an actual crystal type color. There's 1. You've already seen two, so let's go. Three, it's this blue. Four is a different shade of blue. And then five's yet another shade of blue. And another is, six is another shade. They look, you know, I had another painting where the paint on the bottom wore off on a lot of them so they don't look good and I don't use them. And this one's kind of looking like there's a lot of paint slivers in here because what they do with these is they paint the bottoms with that silver paint and they end up um, 
reflecting the color out. And when they don't have it, <clears throat> they're really like, the color is very uh, see-through and it's just not good. So that's seven. It looks like a really light blue right there. And okay, this is there's eight. There's a lot of blues. Yeah, eight. And then this is nine, which looks almost the same as number two. They look almost identical. I mean, they do look identical. That's interesting. And uh, number ten is well. There's there's an iridescent. There's a crystal black. That's what that look. Well, maybe it's blue. Kind of looks blackish blue. It's a really dark blue, I guess. And then there's number eleven. Kind of an orangish color. And that's the beak, I think. No, yeah, that's no. Why is it would be? Yeah, part of the beak. There's only a few of them. There's more in the packet than is actually needed on the on the canvas. Okay, so really sorry about that, but yeah, I, I've noticed that all the downloads I get every time I have my kid in the video, and that's not gonna stop. I'm gonna she's gonna be involved, but if I get downloads, I get downloads. I have more people who like it than don't. Right, guys? Anyway, this is the, the fabled, well, not the infamous swans that you see a lot of. And this shouldn't take too long to do because it's not that big. There's only 12 colors, and, and it's a very small packet. The packets don't have a lot in them, so. Yeah. It's about the same size as the silver uh, phoenixes that I did. But this does tell you on the canvas the the area that is um, drill, the drilled area. And yeah, I think it'll look pretty nice. I mean, it might be something I'd frame, maybe, maybe not, maybe give away. I don't know. But I might get my app out and see what all this Chinese says down at the bottom. It's probably just talking about the product, but see all that. It might be hard to see, but um, with the camera app, but I'm going to try. There's a big thing up here, too, which I have no idea what that says. That's a pretty large, oh, it's instructions because it's got one, two, three, and four. But it does have the key both down here on the bottom right, and it has it at the top left. So there you go. That's my swan uh, crystal, gemstones, rhinestones painting. And that's it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it, um, even with all the chaos. And I will see you in my next video. Enjoy the heat. Enjoy the nice weather if you're having it enjoy the rain if that's what you're having but i'm gonna try and stay cool until i have to leave later on today and i will talk to you guys you guys you guys <laughs> later bye